He, at the time of giving my notice of motion, I have nothing against him as a person. But I was perturbed yesterday because His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa did insult members of parliament. He insulted the intelligence of members of parliament. Yes. There are members here who are senior lawyers. There are members here who are senior accountants. There are members here who are teachers. There are members here who are accountants. There are members, all of us are respected in our societies. The people of Kenya have elected us to exercise a constitutional mandate in this country. But His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa did say that most of the members of parliament signed the motion without reading it. That is an insult to your intelligence. His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, in the live interview yesterday, did say that Parliament is a theater of the absurd. In my training as a lawyer, he who insults the jury, we, he who insults the jury deserves no mercy from the jury. He who insults the jury deserves no mercy from the jury. His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa has insulted you before Kenyans. I urge you, I urge you to rise up to the occasion. I urge you to rise up to the occasion. Uphold all the 11 grounds. Uphold all the 11 grounds. Uphold all the 11 grounds. Mr. Speaker, there is evidence that I have not gone through. The whole issue of Wamunyoro investments and the land in Embakasi. I have evidence in my bundle of documents that His Excellency the Gadi Gashagwa used his office as the Deputy President, called junior officers of the Ministry of Lands, forced them to forge documents to the effect that Wamunyoro Investment had bought the land in Embakasi long even before it had been registered as a company. That land, that land, Mr. Speaker, belongs to a sickly civil servant. It belongs to a father, it belongs to a mother. Mr. Speaker, we must have a Deputy President who is compassionate. I watched the Deputy President yesterday on television displaying impunity and arrogance. He told Kenya, yes, I have said Kenya is a company, Mutadu. He said that he has said that Kenya is a company. And apologetically, he said he has said Kenya is a company. Is this the kind of a person you would want to be your deputy president? <laughs> Members of parliament, I do not want to imagine that anything can happen to the sitting president. I do not want to imagine. But it is also a factual reality that something can happen to the president who is in power today. If anything, and God forbid, happens to the president who is in power today, is this the man you would want to complete the term as president? This man, this man, honorable members, this man called Rigadi Gashagwa has already said that the members of parliament in Mount Kenya are either to Gunia, are either to Gunia, I don't know what that means, or are collaborators, and that he will take them on. He has already said that where I come from, we deserve no development in Ukambani. He has said that the people of Nyanza deserve no development. He has said that the people of Western deserve no development nor appointments from the government. He has said that the people of the coast deserve no development from the government. He has said that the people of Northeastern deserve no development from the government. Those are the people you represent. Those are the people you represent. As you rise up to vote, please have the best interest of your people at heart. I urge you, I urge you, honorable members, as one of your colleagues. I urge you, honorable members, as one of your colleagues. When this motion is finally put to vote, please vote to impeach Rigadi Gashagwa. Please vote to impeach Rigadi Gashagwa on all the grounds. As I conclude, Mr. Speaker, as I conclude, Mr. Speaker, the, I am confident that colleague members of parliament will approve this motion. And I want 
to assure you, in the event that you vote for this motion, I will also persuasively defend it before the Senate. And I am sure the Senate of the Republic of Kenya will also uphold, and Kenya will have a better deputy president who views the country as a whole. With those remarks, Mr. Speaker, I beg to move and call our able deputy majority leader, the Honorable Owen Bayer, to second the motion. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Owen oh, Bayer, you have 10 minutes. Owen Bayer, you may proceed. Okay. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. 